Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in any type of uh, trading, uh, whether you are a cryptocurrency, future, uh, uh, forex, whatever. In any kind of trade, there is risk, and we're not your financial advisor. We just are trying to help because we've been having a lot of requests to cover and we promised to cover the cryptocurrency when we have a chance uh, i want to highlight what's going on uh, maybe double ease out a little bit some of the nervous trader out there most of those uh, guys on the youtube they're just a bunch of kids they've never seen a real trading in their life and uh, what they are showing they're showing it just very basic indicator coming out of a kitchen table, a small platform, and the trading is much more than it just a, a MACD or a volume. Uh, what is a volume? How to use it? When those guys move the market, when and when there is a low volume. So all this uh, nonsense I, I've been hearing on the YouTube, uh, I will cover what's going on uh uh i'm i'm not a, a fundamental i'm no longer uh, chasing the news uh, uh on a twitter or anything like that uh, there is two type of a trading fundamental or technical after testing the cryptocurrency for 6 months listening to those guys those noises and listen to the news and li and watch the market on a technical side of course, uh, uh, those, the type, of, any type of a cryptocurrency for a long term, a day trading on a cryptocurrency, you don't have the proper tools. If you are a fundamental, is a bad news. You gotta stay technical. From all our experience for the last twenty-seven years, um, you need to close your ear. What you hear, all these noises on the net. And you have to stay on the technical side. Let me explain to you, for the ones who are concerned or panicking, uh, we, for the last 27 years, we have seen the same thing on stocks, ES, future market, currency, you name it. We went to hell back and forth a million times it's not a, just a cryptocurrency. The whole thing is about trading. You have to have a cold-blooded uh, trades. Uh, let me explain the bigger picture, what's going on on the Bitcoin. Uh, we have no bread in it. I will just share our technical technical analysis on this. And uh, it is, we're not your financial advisor. And I just want to show you when you stay technical, you become a very powerful trader. And uh, not to just purchasing tools, is how to use the tools. So if we are looking at the bigger picture, this is a daily chart on a Bitcoin. We've been having those warning a long time ago on, on the buy entry, and then we have the reversals signal. Those are not the repaint indicators and then exit entry exit and then the market uh, for some people don't uh, follow us on the future market those the targets those big sharks the those big wells they use those technical targets and as you see the bitcoin exactly what happened hit the target and that's what happened in my opinion this is a very, very strong support uh, on the e on the excuse me on the Bitcoin, and I don't see this Bitcoin going farther than what you, we are looking at right now. It is forty seven three five. This is the level of this Bitcoin. However, if it's any driven news, because you know, uh, cause a lot of panic. If there is a panic on the Bitcoin, if they are trying to push this market down, I'm expecting no farther than 36,833. 
I still think we are confirmed the 40 level is going to hold. So this is on the bigger picture. Let me show you the smaller for a day trading where there is a lot more detail. So for those guys, my mission here is not to teach how to trade. Uh, my mission here is not to for you or call in a trade for you. My mission here is to tell you that stop panicking and and uh, and um, and uh, the Bitcoin for the long term is a I don't know uh, I, I cannot say if it's a good investment or not. You know you hear sometimes it might go to zero, but let me show you the details about the Bitcoin what's going on. When it says end, those your alpha waves they're, they're finished right at the support. This is a 15 minutes of chart. We had a signal long exit. Then the, the the market start giving us warning to sell and then exit. Sell and then here, here, that area here, which is 42,500 something right there. This is where it says on at the end, your alpha waves, your, your fibs, everything. It's just saying dump everything. It's right there. Close all your profit. Right there on the top to the take. Right there. Despite all the noises. It's right here at 8.30 this morning. When the market did go down, we start generating by itself. All those, it calculate by itself. We had the one in short sell at 42.260. The institutional targets is right there. Target one, you can see how the Bitcoin stopped right there. Profit taken on target one, profit taken on target two, profit taken on target three. Here's your dead end. Here is your major support. Here's your second major support. Very simple. They have achieved the target. So that's why I'm almost sure that's what it is. I'm almost sure, despite all the noises out there with a bunch of kids sitting on YouTube playing God, this is where the dead end for the Bitcoin. I'm not pissed. I'm not trying to attack anyone, but uh, I take it a little bit sad for those guys. They panic, and when they have a good position and they uh, somebody spooked them in the market, from saying this market is going to crash and all this and for a new trader he's he's using his feeling emotionally and and he get a little bit nervous here's the dead also again and this mean is over i don't want to explain with all the technical then we had a long 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 and then it says end here this mean the trend is finished reversal short signal on the Ethereum at 29.31, target one, target two, going to target three. We missed the target three by a couple ticks, but it is the dead end for it. If we want to look on at the Ethereum on, on a, a just a bigger picture, if we want to look at the a daily chart, and there we go, this is the daily chart. We're going to wait till it loads, look where the, the signals we have, and look where the exit we have. We had the signal, if you remember, a few days ago. Uh, we had, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, when the market crashed, we were at 17.48 and exit at 40.30. Those, the longer term, despite all the news in the market, this is what happened and now is trying to load because there is a lot of indication in there. <laughs> so, as we see here, the exit hit target uh, one and two and three. So right now, if there is, if we go back to the mid side market, let's put it on thirty. We can see this is the deadlock right there, two seven nine three. It's like the, the future market, the ES, is the oxygen for the NASDAQ Dow Jones, which the Bitcoin 
it is the oxygen for the rest of the market, irrelevant for what you are holding. And then what I notice, maybe there is some other Bitcoin they're gonna be up when everything is going down. And then when they take a profit, you will find after one month or two months, the prices line up with the Bitcoin. So uh, this is chasing a wild goose, but in my opinion, for those new beginners, before you get lost with those bunch of kids and out there, very unprofessional, and, and uh, they are using something uh, out of a kitchen table to predict uh, the future of a Bitcoin. And the Bitcoin is much more complex with the trading than uh, the, the future or the Forex. And, um, and the biggest loss, guys, you have to make a decision if you want to be a fundamental trader or technical trader. But you cannot play both because you're going to get headache. It's for your own safety. So in my opinion, every time we broadcast about the, the, the Bitcoin the second day, we always right on the spot 100. We never fell um, uh, right on the spot what we expected. So I'm expecting this is the bottom of the Bitcoin. And if you're nervous, relax. Welcome to trading. That's all what I want to say. Welcome to trading. Whether you are trading a crypto, you are trading a banana, or you are trading a future. Uh, this is partial of the gain. This is partial of the losses. And this is partial of trading. And uh, welcome to trading. You cannot avoid uh, good days and a bad days. So uh, I see so many bad news or trying some people because they're going short. They're trying to scare those new guys, the newbie guys. And I'm laughing. It's the opposite. If you notice on this Bitcoin, this is an opportunity for you if you are a trader to add. And you can also uh, add if you are a short trader, I mean a short term trader, there is a, the 45.8 target is very open and clear right there. So this is all what we have for you guys. And um, please don't listen to these noises. And uh, Don, um, uh, don't uh, follow a kid, don't know what he's talking about trading and using a junk out of a kitchen table and uh, let him uh, mess with your account. Uh, uh, we're doing this, uh, not the gain of anything here. We're not your financial advisor. Uh, I'm just want to go hit the point. Uh, things is probably overnight. It might gonna go a little bit farther, deeper again to the 40 uh, level, which is normal. It, it is very normal, but uh, the, I think the uh, Bitcoin uh, the run to the downside is over, especially, especially guys. I don't want to go through the all the details. Those numbers probably you're not familiar with it. Most 99% of normal traders they don't know what those numbers are, how they made of. But what I can see, all the institutionals they already hit the target to the downside, and now it is a profit taking. And now what I think is going to be is going to be going the other direction. I wish this is helpful to you. Again, guys, we're not your financial advisor. We're not telling you to buy or sell. We're just trying to help you what I see. And then what, uh, whatever you, you see or you make a decision with your life, uh, we're not, we will not be held responsible for anything. I'm just trying to analyze the charts for you. And we will see uh, the outcome tomorrow. I want to say thank you very much and wish you the best. And uh, my recommendation... Um, uh, to follow your guts, uh, don't listen to those noises. Uh, there is a lot of creepy people uh, um, uh, analyzing, not to just a Bitcoin, anything, and uh, they should they should not be analyzing anything, uh, just for the purpose to advertise for some companies and get paid, and that is very sick. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, and uh, wish you the best, and. Um, during the years, whatever you trade in, eventually you will get stronger. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye for now.